Hello Aquarius! Welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aquarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Aquarius. What do we have for you with whom we are connecting today? With you, for you, <laughs> with whom we are connecting today for you, Aquarius. Let's see. Important messages for Aquarius, please. Show me, please, important messages for Aquarius. Show me, please, important messages for Aquarius. One more, please, for Aquarius. One more, please, for Aquarius. Thank you. Okay. Connections at the bottom of the deck. So let's see Aquarius, we have searching how many jealousy connections at the bottom of the deck. So Aquarius in this reading, okay, we are connecting here with someone who is trying to figure out something regarding this connection. I'm getting very strongly that, you know, we have the mutual energy harmony. I feel that at the end of the day, both of you want to find like a positive resolution to a certain matter or issues that might have occurred in this connection. But I feel that, you know, it's like, because as it is mutual energy, I feel that both of you really want to have this nice, uh, full of harmony connection relationship. This person with the searching energy, it's like they are trying to figure out what to do to make the situation even better for some of you if things has been quite difficult okay um this person here is actively trying to figure out it's thinking about this 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 connection but the main goal here is to bring again more harmony tranquility and balance to the situation on your side we have jealousy and overall energy, we have connections. For some of the Aquarius, you might be suspecting that this person, um, or they might be, you know, kind of giving you impression momentarily, uh, maybe through communication, their actions, or maybe, you know, like a, some sort of situations here that this person might, uh, m might like, that maybe this person might want to keep their, their options open. It's like, um, because we have this connections energy so, and on your side, we have jealousy. Of course, cross watches, you know, the roles can be uh, reversed. So please take it how it resonates. But um, I'm getting very strongly here, Aquarius, that you might be um, unsure about this person's intentions fully. Maybe they made certain comment about someone and, or maybe they, you know, if social media is involved in this situation, maybe, um they like they like someone else's photo or they are kind of you know that you know that they are in touch with someone they're claiming here that it's just a friend but um with this energy i feel that you know you are unsure uh, if this person is serious about this connection because um they might be giving you impression that they are kind of you know maybe that they are Again, with searching and connections, you might feel that this person indeed uh, likes to keep their options open, but it's like I feel that they're giving you impression from time to time that you might be an option, not a priority. It's like they are focusing on different things, different connections here, and maybe you know you this energy we have jealousy it doesn't have to be taken you know literally i feel that there is a need for clarity it's like you don't know therefore there are you might be assuming many things here and <clears throat> excuse me the fact that that's what might be going on on their part it just doesn't help the situation mm. but let's see let's see what tara will tell us aquarius 
what tarot will tell us could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Aquarius and disconnection, please? Six of Swords. Eight of Wands. Friend, you might be dealing with Leo Aquarius. We have the Two of Swords. For some of you, I'm getting that your ra ra raising might be Leo. You have placements in Leo. Rising, rising, right? That's the right way to say rising. And we have Four of Pentacles. And we have the death card. You might be dealing Aquarius with Scorpio. We have four of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. If for some reason there, 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 there is a no contact situation or if this person went silent, Aquarius, uh, things going to change. Okay. Because with the Two of Swords, the Death card and the Four of Swords, as it is a very passive energy, it might be an indication here that at the moment, you know, you are not on the speaking terms or you feel like this person distanced themselves or they're kind of acting in that detached manner. Or if you are in touch and there is a communication, it might be like till minimum, okay? So we have the Six of Swords and then we have Eight of wants for some of you aquarius uh, there is a physical distance between the two of you they might be from a different city um state this person that might be leaving or even country but i'm getting physical distance where travel is involved um with the six of swords but most importantly here the six of swords indicates in a first the fact that we have a six of swords as a first card it suggests here that this person indeed is it's it's kind of trying to figure out how this connection can can how this connection can gain more harmony and tranquility because that that card indicates moving into calmer waters seeking more harmony and tranquility regarding situation okay so we have like a double confirmation then we have an eight of wands um, this is someone who wants to take action. I feel that they will take action very, very soon. You can expect because this wants energy, it's a very active orientated energy. So it might happen even, you know, uh, during this week, um, uh, or it will take like eight days I'm getting, but eight of wands suggests that this person will take action. For some of you, it might, it might be an indication that they will reach out. There will be a conversation because Eight of Wands is not only sending messages. This is a conversation, back and forward, exchange of uh, communication. Okay, and this is someone who really wants this. We have the strength. This person feels this connection, you know, Aquarius. They feel that, you know, they feel this very, that they share very strong bond with you. This person is very um, attracted to you. They find you very, very uh, beautiful, handsome. They are very passionate about this, especially next to the Eight of Wands. They are, but I feel that with the Two of Swords, they have, and Four of Pentacles here, I feel that this person has a tendency to kind of hold back. It's like they are, they are, but it's like they don't want to show, like, I feel that it's this person could have been more expressive. That's what I wanted to say. More expressive with their emotions, how, how they feel. I feel that there is a need for this person to open up more. Because Two of Swords with the Four of uh, Pentacles, Four of Pentacles is this kind of, you know, energy of holding back. Um, and the Two of Swords, it's, you know, that kind of energy of blockage. You know, you see that kind of body language here represented on this card so there is there is someone who we, we didn't 
here in this reading for you if someone who has very strong feelings for you but i feel that they are not expressing them enough there is a need for them to be more expressive to not kind of you know keep them for themselves they need to kind of you know let you know about those emotions that they have for you i can tell you that things are going to change aquarius with this energy and the fact that we have this two of swords and the four of uh, pentacles this person feels energetically that there might be a need for you to give you some sort of reassurance and it feels because this is a card of transformation and in this context I'm, I'm getting very strongly that this person will open up that they will be uh, more transparent with their feelings and um, I, I'm getting also that their attitude will change and they will tell you here something about uh, the emotions that they have for you because at the end of the day with the four of pentacles this is someone who doesn't want to kind of this connection to end excuse me <coughs> excuse me um, and um, they want this so I see a big change transformation this person's attitude and them being more open and expressive with their feelings Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, it might be a case here with regards to this person is that at the moment they might be healing here from certain situation. Maybe that's why they are acting in a little bit detached manner or kind of, you know, if there is a communication, it's not that intense. But the, the, the day energy is showing that things will change. At the end of the day, you have someone here who, who wants harmony, who wants to create a harmonious uh, connection with you they care okay so let's see Aquarius show me Aquarius's energy and their feelings towards this person and this connection please we have a knight of pentacles we have the fool We have the hanged man. We have a seven of pentacles. We have magician. Okay. We have a six of pentacles and the side message will of fortune and the hermit. At the bottom of the deck we have the emperor so you might be dealing with divine masculine or you are divine masculine please take it how it resonates so aquarius you might be dealing with another aquarius actually we have very strong aries pisces uh, virgo sagittarius scorpio taurus leo okay so let's let's take a look at your energy aquarius yeah, I feel Aquarius that something here is taking a long, long time and you might be feeling that, you know, you're kind of losing your patience a little bit. Um, this Knight of Pentacles, this is the slowest moving energy in a deck, you know. It's, it's, it gives us that impression that nothing is happening, something is taking forever here, some sort of kind of action or change to to manifest itself it's it's taking forever nothing is changing and i feel with the fool it's like you want you want essentially a change you want something new regarding this connection um i'm getting very strongly that, that you might be coming from the place that certain things need moderation and it's like with the fool i feel that you kind of feel this urge to do something to take action to take a leap of faith and you know um do something about it and then we have the hanged man so this this full energy this new beginning here it's kind of blocked you might feel that you know nothing is happening the energy is very stagnant and you want to take action but somehow it's just like 
you might not be sure that it's the right direction however deep inside you might feel that this is something that you truly want we have a seven of pentacles again this is a card that indicates that deep inside i feel that you are invested in this connection you care about this person but this is a card that most of the time represents patience and uh, my there might be an indication that more time here it's needed in order to fully manifest something that you truly want with regards to this this situation you see this full energy that represents this kind of new take uh, on something new beginning regarding this connection this situation it's kind of blocked and i feel for some of you you might be coming from the place that uh I really want to take this leap of faith, but I feel like maybe you feel inability to do that because of the, the whole circumstances surrounding this connection. But and, 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 you know, with the hangman, which is a pause, I feel that you are changing your perspective at the same time regarding the situation. But I feel that um, you don't want to resign from this connection. You are invested in this. This person is invested as well. This is a mutual energy with the seven of pentacles. But I also seeing here that um, you might feel that indeed that this, this, this matter might require more time and you being patient. So it is a bit tricky here. Patient in order to manifest with the magician something really, really profound. You might be dealing also with Gemini. I can tell you one thing here, Aquarius, that if certain things are happening behind the scenes. It, I feel that your spiritual guides are working on your behalf in order to bring that manifestation and this, 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 this change in this connection to this connection okay i feel that at the end of the day you want this person to give you more time to give you more attention and again to be more to ex to kind of share more with you on emotional level i feel that you are all about equal give take you want to create uh, again a very kind of balance and harmonious relationship you, you see aquarius at the end of the day, I feel that we are connecting here with someone who wants the same thing, but the approach is completely different. That's why there might be that kind of, you know, um, maybe at the moment you've kind of faced this, 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 this discord when it comes to this connection. Nevertheless, please be reassured here, Aquarius, that you are very powerful with the Emperor. Um, you are taking back control. And I feel that you are in control. At the end of the day, you know exactly what you want. And I feel that you're going to, uh, to, to gain it. You, uh, that's what I am getting very strongly. Your side message is the will of fortune. You see, here is the thing. When I look at this energy, Aquarius, I feel that you're also kind of coming from the place that, well, I, for some of you might feel like there is nothing I can do about the situation. At the moment, those things are beyond my control. And um, I, I may just leave it f to the universe and we'll see what future will bring, you know. But with the hermit, I'm seeing you being very, very wise and making a right decision regarding this whole situation. And as much as they have this energy of searching with the hermit, I feel that at the moment you might be in a hermit mode, Aquarius, in order to figure out something, in order to kind of, you know, um, I feel that you're doing a lot of kind of soul searching and I'm seeing you being very spiritual at the moment. It, of course, you know, you might be a very spiritual person, but I feel that you are focusing very strongly here at this very moment uh, on spirituality. And it's like, it wouldn't surprise me, Aquarius, that you are uh, receiving some sort of downloads from the universe in the form of synchronicities, repeated numbers, you know signs i feel that you are very kind of um attentive and you pay attention when something kind of you know manifest in a certain way or occurred so you are you are here awakened and enlightened regarding um
regarding this guidance that you're receiving uh, from the universe. But uh, you see, what I am getting very strongly that you are, uh, you are not into rush with regards to certain things. Your energy is very kind of calm, focused on time and patience. And yes, deep inside you might feel this urge that you want to change, you want to take a leap of faith and do something about certain thing. But I feel that you see the higher, like a big, bigger picture here. And with the Wheel of Fortune and this Hermit, I feel that you have a faith in universe and destiny. And you have a faith that things will change sooner or later with regards to this connection and actually will change for the better. There is a big faith here regarding this particular connection and situation. And with this Wheel of Fortune and this Emperor, I'm getting very strongly that you can be reassured that, that yes, indeed, things will change for the better, bringing you more clarity, happiness and good luck and good fortune regarding this particular uh, situation. So let's see the outcome. Could you please show me the outcome? For Aquarius and this person. So we have the moon, we have an ace of... Okay. So we have the moon. Is that the right way? Sorry. Aquarius. We have the moon, ace of wands, high precious. Very interesting energy. You might be indeed dealing with Pisces, very strong Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, we have an ace of swords. So we have an ace of wands and we have an ace of swords. <laughs> Who's going to speak first? <laughs> That's what I am getting here. So this person here is coming with the energy of the moon. They are, there is something here that they are unsure about. But I'm seeing that there will be a conversation. There is a need. Let's, let's, let's start with this. I feel that there is a big need for, for an honest conversation that will bring clarity. Because it feels like this person has doubts or they, they feel some sort of uncertainty regarding the situation. And at the same time, I feel that you're trying to listen to your intuition, but you might also kind of feel that this person is hiding something from you. It's, it's, it's really um, interesting energy because what I am getting here, a situation when both of you feel unsure about this connection and it's like no one is really kind of talking about it. And there is a need for honest, truthful, um, you know, um, constructive communication, communication, a conversation between the two of you that, 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 that will bring so much clarity, which is so much needed here uh, with regards to this person and their emotions. And also when it comes to you, Aquarius. Ace of Wands as a mutual energy indicates that uh, action will be taken here. So indeed, if you resonate with this message and if you feel that this person is hiding something, they bringing, you know, or you have doubts about this person or you are unsure about the future of this connection, I can tell you here that this person feels the same way. Uh, this is very, very kind of similar energy. However, things are going to change, Aquarius, and you will see that this, this, this communication will take place. And it will bring clarity because Ace of Swords here as an overall energy for this reading indicates that this important conversation will take place and it will bring clarity because Ace of Swords is all about truth. It's a, th this card represents triumph of truth, clarity, honesty, and that certain things will be discussed, you know, there will be a discussion about 
uh, something here that might might cause both of the parties this energy of doubt and anxiety stress and worry you know because at the moment i feel that there is a lack of clarity regarding this whole situation maybe future of the situation ace of wands uh, as, a, as a mutual energy aquarius uh, indicates that uh, action will be taken and this important uh, conversation here will take place so um yeah you can expect that certain things here will be clarified and uh, and it, it is it is it is i am quite convinced actually here when i look at this whole reading aquarius that uh, this connection can can gain more harmony tranquility and you know it's just and and it feels like you know if indeed things are quite challenging oh something here is unspoken um this situation will be resolved to your satisfaction aquarius because at the end of the day you have someone here who cares and this person is ready to change their attitude and to be more transparent and more expressive with their feelings because they care. It's like, I feel that, you know, um, they don't know if they should do that. But at the same time, I feel that you kind of, it's like two people are kind of um, really, they like each other, they, they, they love each other, but um, they are still kind of there is something that they are unsure about and you know and there is just this the the easiest thing here is to have this conversation which is showing up in your in your outcome and overall energy that will take place so um if things i'm getting this kind of awkward energy you might feel that there is a little bit awkward kind of energy between the two of you at the moment. If that's the case, this person feels the same way. That's why it might be kind of, oh, you know, a little bit awkward. Um, the dynamics, the dynamic regarding this connection might be facing this energy. However, what I am getting that things will change and this important conversation will take place and things will change and you, you will see... Um, that um, this connection will face like a the new energy will be introduced to this connection and and i feel that from now on uh, things uh, will uh, start kind of moving into a right direction so at the end of the day i feel very strongly that uh, whatever this connection is facing um, you will gain a very positive resolution to this situation aquarius Aquarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Aquarius, have a beautiful and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.